What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm Justin Voss. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I make videos primarily focused on fabrication and more recently we've been doing a lot of TIG welding heavy videos and that is what today is going to be. This is the Hypercube kit from Precision Tube Laser. Uh, my last video was an unboxing video of this kit, so if you were to order one yourself, you can see what you would get, how you would receive it, what it looks like. It actually comes assembled, so you can see what it looks like before you start. I'll link that video up here. But yeah, today we're going to be TIG welding this together with some 312 stainless rod, and uh, that's it. First thing we're going to do is get this material prepped, so let's get to it. All right, first things first, let's prep the metal. I tried a few different ways on this. I started with the three inch Scotch-Brite wheel, but I didn't like the way it looked on the whole tubing. It was just too aggressive. Uh, so I took the weld seam off with the wheel and then I moved on to a hand Scotch-Brite pad and kind of twisted around each tubing, each piece of tubing, and I thought that looked the best, but my forearms were completely on fire when I got done doing this. After prepping, I started assembling the Hypercube. I couldn't remember exactly what it looked like when I took it apart, and each little piece of tubing has its own little nubs that are laser cut on the end that fit in laser cut slots on other pieces of tubing. So I actually had to pull up a picture from Precision Tube Laser's website of what the final thing looked like and that helped me to put it together the right way, but it still was still like a puzzle. to get the last little set of uh, like 45 degree pieces, I had to take the whole top ring off. Once I was pretty confident that I had everything where it needed to go, I started tacking it together. I did use a square to try and hold it in its cube shape. I think if you wanted to make sure that you maintained a perfect cube, you'd have to build some kind of fixture. And since this is just kind of a decorative piece, I didn't go to that extent, but uh, it held its shape pretty good. Once tacked, it was time to start welding. I'm just using my Lincoln 185 air-cooled TIG welder. Uh, I have this Miller torch on it, obviously you can see, and that's just because Miller owns Weldcraft, if you weren't aware, so it's a Weldcraft torch. And then I have my Furic Fupa cup on the end of it. That way I can run the tungsten out a good amount. I noticed pretty quickly that I was going to have to switch to a short back cap to get into these tight areas. So that helped, but starting out, I just used the standard length back cap. And I think you could weld this whole thing with the longer back cap. You're just gonna have some extreme or less than ideal torch angles. Here's where I actually switched to that short back cap and I didn't have a piece of tungsten long enough or the perfect length, so I had to break one. I don't know what the best method is for shortening tungsten. This is how I've always done it. I'll just put it on the edge, a sharp edge of a table and pop it with a hammer and hopefully get a clean break and then take it over to my bench grinder to get my point back on it. Um, I just made a video about how to grind your tungsten. If you're unaware, I'll link it above. Uh, pretty much the gist of it is though, hold it in the direction of the wheel pointing 
with the direction of the wheel going away from you, so it's pulling on the tungsten, don't put the tungsten upright where it could catch and probably shove it into your hand. That just seems like a terrible idea. I don't know why people do that. Look, this thing has a lot of welding on it, so uh, I'm just gonna leave you for a while with some hopefully nice weld shots. Uh, this is a good project if you wanna practice your tubing welding. Like I said, there are a ton of welds on this thing, and it looks pretty cool when you're done. So yeah, here we go. The center cube is almost completely welded and then we just have the outside to do. I keep forgetting how much welding there is to do in here. I think I'm like just almost just right around the corner finishing up. But like next up I think I'm going to do this weld right here and on each corner there's three of those. So have that times three right here times eight for each corner and that's not even all of it. All right, well, let's get back at it. Okay, right now, only thing we have left to do is right around here, uh, pretty much all the way around, and then all the way around this side on all eight spots. Well, that's it guys. That's it for the Hypercube from Precision Tube Blazer. This was a fun project. It is a lot of welding. Pretty much every weld you're gonna end up doing, you have to do at least eight times, which is a lot of fun. You get better and better as you move on, uh, hopefully. I know a lot in this video, I sped up a lot of the welds, a lot of the repetitive welds. It's just because it was so much welding. I figured you guys didn't wanna see an hour video of me welding every single weld in real time. But yeah, this one right here, actually, I'm going to give away. And to win it, you're going to have to follow me on Instagram. It's at Defiant Metal. And I'm gonna post a picture of this for the giveaway. And all you have to do is comment on that picture and tag a friend. If you wanna leave in the comment uh, what you'll do with this if you win it, whether it's like turn it into something else, make it into a table, if you have other ideas, since it's all welded up, you don't have to spend the time doing that and maybe you'll come up with some creative way. That's not a requirement to put in the comments, but uh, tagging a friend is, so tag one of your welder friends or somebody who 
wouldn't weld this up and would just like it. Either way, but that's not gonna nominate them. You're just nominating yourself. If they wanna win, they're gonna have to do the same thing. Uh, no big deal. But that's it for this project. Thank you to Precision Tube Laser in Las Vegas for sending me this Hypercube. I don't know what the exact next video is going to be, but I have some good ideas planned, um, whether they're gonna be uh, quick tutorials or creative projects where we build something neat. If you're new to this channel, I hope you subscribe and stick around. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.